Hi everybody, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to do um, a fun design with a nice black background. So what I've done is I've got two coats of my black polish. Any black polish will do, but this is the one I'm using is the Wet n Wild Fast Dry. The color is Ebony Hates Chris. You've probably seen this one on a few of my videos. I kind of like this one, it dries pretty good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to be stamping using Bundle Monster plate number BM06. And we're going to use this kind of flowery burst here. The nice thing about this design is it's going to be really simple. So it's, it's just going to use a bunch of colors. I'm going to show you the colors first. We're going to use Sally Hansen Extreme Wear in Lacy Lilac. We're also going to use Sally Hansen Insta Dry in Lightning. China Glaze for Audrey. And China Glaze Flip Flop Fantasy. You can do whichever colors you want, um, but they just you want to make sure that they are all kind of cream colors so that they'll stamp all over black. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with, pretty much you can start with whatever color you want. I'm going to start with the Lacy Lilac. And I'm just going to place one little flower right there. And of course the bigger your nails are, the more flowers you'll be able to fit. Now I could clean the plate in between, but right now all I want to do is put a bunch of flowers on there. And if they pick up a little bit of extra color from one to the other, that actually doesn't bother me for this particular design. So I'm going to place another burst up here. See my little sunflower there? I don't know what kind of flower that is, but it's very pretty. Then I'm going to go with a flower in for Audrey. And I'm actually going to allow the flowers to overlap. Because what I want to do is have a nice layered, multicolored look. And now with the Flip Flop Fantasy. See that there? Now if I wanted to, I could go back with another color. Go back for the For Audrey pick up that flower and maybe put it just a little bit off on the end to layer it. And then I might go back with one more lacy lilac. Ooh, that was a lot of polish. And I'm going to layer it just a little bit over the yellow and the pink. See that? So then what I'm going to do is take a cotton swab with some nail polish remover I'm going to clean up any little messes that I got around my cuticle. And there are a few, but nothing serious. And at this point, the flowers look probably a little bit milky in consistency. Um, in fact, let me see if I can focus this a little bit better. There we go. Okay, it's a little bit closer in now. You can see this multicolored effect, which is really, really pretty. And it's, it's only slightly milky in color just because we don't have a top coat on that. So what I'm going to do is show you with um, putting some sesh beet over the top. It really does bring out the brightness of the color. And there I have this sort of rainbow colored effect on my nail. And it's, this is such an easy design, and it really is pretty. So I'm going to go back, I'm going to do the rest of my nails so you can see how it looks with all of my nails completed. Okay, here is the completed look. And I really love the way this one looks. It's so colorful, even with the dark background. It's and with that clear coat over it, it really shines nicely. The other thing that I like about this look is it goes, it whips up really quickly because you can go, when you're stamping, you can actually stamp 
eat like your purple flower purple 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 and then move to the next color and before you know it all of your fingernails are done in no time and there's no special placement involved you pretty much just put them wherever you want so you can go really quickly and it is also a non-dominant hand friendly look see how that works it doesn't because it is so random and the patterns can be completely different on each finger it really is a nice look for both hands so if you're not that good at at doing your opposite hand this is the perfect look to give it to to try I have two more quick notes also if you like the look of the four Audrey the blue color but you don't have access to this color I did find that when I was testing my colors that this extreme wear in mint sorbet looks very similar when stamped over black to this for Audrey so this is a good alternative if you don't have it um, the other the closest thing I have to an alternative on black to this flip-flop fantasy was actually uh, using the Conad psych pink I actually think that this the flip-flop fantasy shows up a little bit better believe it or not um, but the Conad will be a decent replacement also so that's just two alternatives for those colors but here is your final look I think it reminds me a little bit of like a grandma's afghan you know those crocheted afghans with all the kind of little granny squares and colors so I think that's what I'm going to call this one we'll call this granny's afghan but I hope that you guys like it and I hope you'll get to try it out thanks so much for watching and joining me today and uh, we'll see you guys soon thanks again bye bye